we begin? We shall. Okay, so it's in a large bowl. You're getting dizzy. You're making me dizzy. You're spinning oh. all around. Here, let me stand over here. You're spun right out of the video. And we're back. I'm Alexis. And I'm Peyton. And if you haven't been here ever, or you're just scrolling by, we are cooking our way through the Host Tacos cookbook. Every weekish, heavy on the ish, mm -hmm. we will work on trying to get off the couch to cook a taco from this wonderful book. And sometimes other things, not always tacos. Yeah, there's donuts, there's strudels, there's drinks. It's a video we've been trying to do for a little while. See, we try plan these videos and then it's hard to get the gumption to, to start. We work so hard yeah. during the week and then on the weekends we're like, mm, someone else can make us food. But we finally get the energy. Mm -hmm. I don't have the energy. I'm, I'm like a zombie right now. But we're we got something that it seems like it's going to be pretty easy. Right. And it takes two great foods and smorshes them together. We're talking about the bacon cheeseburger tacos. Yeah. I don't really know what we're getting into here other than it's going to have some bacon stuffs inside the taco parts. And we're having a blast so far. Everything we made is pretty great. Yeah. Will this be the one that will conquer us instead of us conquering it? So it says, in a large bowl, combine ground beef and the gringo seasoning, which right now we are using Old El Paso taco seasoning mix. Using these, we have to distribute the seasoning without overworking the meat and form meat into four patties. Heat oil in a large, heavy bottom pan. We got this neat little doodad on Amazon, and I'm never going back to chopping onions. Like a peasant. Like a peasant ever again. You just stack it and then boom. Oh. Once you heat it, then we have to sear the patties. Look at that sear. Look at yeah. it. Yeah. upset because he's growing ear hair. I'm cutting this out of the video. No one's ever going to see this part. He's not allowed to cut this out of the video because I will put it back in the video. Exciting. He's adding some bacon. To a yeah, now we got our patties. I'll let them cool and then chop them up into a rough half inch dice. After the bacon is cooked, we're gonna wrap the tortillas. We're gonna stack the tortillas on top of each other and wrap them in aluminum foil. Mm. Put them in the oven. Okay, I, I have to say, I don't really know how these are bacon cheeseburger other than they're bacon. Because it's just like, it's just meat that we made into patties, but they're not going to stay in patty form. I don't think that it's just kind of like taco with bacon in it, which I'm fine with. But I don't know if Mr. Trejo really, you know, broke any real ground on this one. Got oh. so my tortilla stack. Yeah. And then we need a little... Yeah, stacks on stacks on stacks. Cut off. Kind of falling apart, but I guess that's fine, because that's the point. Honestly, why did we even make them into patties? Yeah, that doesn't make it. Is it just part of this like... Is, I think this is probably like one of the weird... Not weirdest, but like one of the where we're just like... Trejo, are you okay? Ow! You okay? No. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel... Just cut it up in there. That's what I'm doing. There's no reason to like cut it up on a cutting board, really. Unless, unless there's some secret to it that I don't know. So basically, this is how we make tacos, anyways. Yeah. This is. This is just a regular taco that has bacon in it. Normally, we like to. We're always singing Trejo taco praises, but we gotta be honest with the people. I mean, this is like it's a big book. They're not all gonna be hits. Why are you getting that out? You said get the tortilla warmer. No, the thing we used to want, like, to heat those on feels like the pan. Okay. But you have to understand. You said, can you get the tortilla warmer we normally use? Opposed to the one we rarely use? This is a tortilla warmer, is it not? 
I mean, yes, but I meant like the one that heats it up. The pan? That's a different thing. moment of truth to try something that you probably already know what it's gonna taste like yeah it's definitely tasty i mean it's good but we but yeah it's nothing not new nothing out of this world i wonder why it's called a bacon cheeseburger taco mm -mm. it just tastes like a regular taco yeah it's not bad but i didn't know how it was yeah, we just had some like extra steps, like why we made it into a patty, I have no idea. That, that was it, the Just to thing. give you the feeling of it being like a cheeseburger? I don't know. I'm just so confused. Yeah, it was odd. Did we miss something? I don't think we did. We didn't miss anything. Nope. Oh well, it still tasted good, so. So this is the end of the episode. Yeah, we probably would just make a standard taco next time. So, hopefully next time is... A little bit more of a crazy thing. I know. I think next time, because I read about the ingredients, I'll be we'll be using shellfish. Ah, little sneak peek. Little we'll sneak. Wonder peek. what it could be. A lobster, sneak perhaps. Peek. Snail. Anyways, like this video, mm -hmm. subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment, and go follow us on social media. We're on TikTok and Instagram. Thank you for coming. And have a great evening.